Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rex Roo here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Banjo's Backpack. Now, for those of you who aren't too familiar with the program, or just clicked on this because you're curious about the name, uh, it's basically a Banjo-Kazooie level editor slash creator, and it's really cool because there's a ton of awesome stuff you can do, there's a ton of people that are creating awesome Banjo-Kazooie maps, and uh, it basically allows you to really model your own levels, like this one here. Uh, it's not necessarily, you know, just a bunch of pieces that you can throw together. No, it's actually uh, giving you the ability to really create your own Banjo-Kazooie levels. And of course it does have resources and whatnot uh, in the Banjo-Kazooie game, like enemies and, and you know, some... Um uh, you know, just some objects from the Benji Kazooie game that you can put in your maps as well. But anyway, it's really awesome, really cool, and that's what I'm going to be going over today. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So, the first thing you're going to need to do um, is download a couple of programs. Now, I know it may seem like sort of a lot of programs at first, but once you get them all nice and, and organized in a folder and whatever, uh, and you start using this program more and more, it really won't seem as much. And yes, I guess I will go ahead and change the color scheme. <laughs> Apparently, my computer can't handle a little bit of, or handle a bit of recording. Alright, well, anyways, <laughs> let's go back to the tutorial here. Let me just go and bring this up, kind of situate things a little bit. There we go, very nice. So, uh, first thing we're going to need to download is obviously the program itself. So, let's go ahead over here. And uh, you're going to want to go on the pro or the <laughs> program. You're going to want to go on the website, rarewarecentral.com. Okay, this is where you're going to download the Banjo Kazooie, uh, or Banjo's Backpack, rather, tutorial. Or, hang on. The Banjo's Backpack Program. There we go. Get it together, Rex. Just because it's pretty early in the morning doesn't mean you have to stutter all the time here. So, the Banjo's Backpack right here, uh, as you saw, was on the very first page of the website. Just go ahead and click Banjo's Backpack. And just go ahead and download Banjo's Backpack uh, V1.0.1. Uh, At least that's the current version that's out now. Now, I already have the program and everything else, obviously, so I'm not going to go and download this, but just go ahead and uh, this is where you get it. Alright, so next thing we're going to need is uh, a program called SketchUp. Now, basically how this is going to work is any modeling program, 3D modeling program that you have or know of that you like uh, that can export in OBJ files uh, will work perfectly for this. But for this tutorial specifically, I'm going to be using SketchUp because that's what I like and I feel like it gives kind of a nice little low poly feel. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be using for this tutorial. So what you can do is uh, right here, that I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a link to this in the description, this page specifically, is how to use Banjo's Backpack with Google SketchUp. And he recommends using Google SketchUp 8 with a little link, so just go ahead and click the link there. You'll be directed to here, and just click download. And one thing that might come up when you do this, because it is at uh, Softonic, is you're going to get the Softonic or Tonic downloader. So when you open up the folder here, it's going to look like this, and you're going to get this little soft tonic downloader. Uh, don't worry about that. Just continue anyways. Uh, it will be fine. All right. So, after you have uh, done that, you want to go ahead and download yet another thing. Now, this is specifically if you're using Google SketchUp. If you're using another modeling program that can export to OBJ, uh, you don't have to worry about this. You can go ahead and just relax for a little bit in the video. Uh, and for those who are using SketchUp, Pay attention because this is very important. Alright, so what we're going to need to do is because SketchUp, the version that you downloaded, uh, can't export an OBJ, we're going to need to get a, an extension that will allow you to do so. So, again, in this page right here, um, Mr. Coolboy Man, part of the uh, creation team of Banjo's Backpack, has linked us to a nice little plugin here, a nice little zip file. Uh, just go ahead and click that, download it. And what you're going to want to do is, once you have Google SketchUp downloaded, uh, as well as the plugin, you want to go ahead and go to, let's see, that's not it. There we go. You're going to want to go to here, the actual SketchUp file. Now, if you're not sure where that is, uh, where it installed, if you just installed it by default, uh, usually, at least for me anyways, it was in my program files 86. So you want to go to your computer. Uh, you want to go to, let me go back here. Go to C drive, 86, scroll down until you see uh, Google, do, 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 there's a lot of stuff in here, I need to clean my computer. Alright, Google SketchUp 8, 
click on that go to now if this pro or if this uh, folder isn't already created go ahead and create a plugins folder click on that and put in your plugins uh, folder that you just downloaded for the OBJ exporter you'll see it right there all right and we go ahead and click out of that so now you have your modeling program down now you have banjo's backpack program down the only thing left is to get a rom now if you don't know what a rom is uh... it's essentially a version of a game that you can play on your computer using an emulator which we're not going to need an emulator don't worry about that banjo's backpack sort of takes care of that for the time being um, <laughs> well i guess we kind of are going to need an emulator but that will be later on so I guess we should get that out of the way now, shouldn't we? Alright, well, anyway, we'll get to that in just a bit here. Um, so, what we're going to need is a specific ROM for this, at least that, if I remember correctly. And this ROM will work perfectly for what we need to do. So, I'm going to go and link to this as well. And to download this, you just click Download Now. And uh, you'll get this, and... Hmm, hang on a sec. That never popped up before. Or did it? Maybe it did. Maybe I just haven't downloaded this in such a long time that I forgot. But anyway, click download now and um, go ahead and wait with ads and timer. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. So is this different then? They have changed the site, haven't they? Alright, well that's weird. Okay, well I guess if you just download this way then, uh, it will be the same thing as when you download SketchUp. It will have its own sort of downloader system. So just go ahead and you'll save the file and then continue the download process. It will basically just be like SketchUp. Alright, well they did change the website. <laughs> You can either do that or just watch it with ads. It's very interesting. All right, so anyway, the next thing we're going to need to do now is uh, download our emulator because I apparently forgot to do that. So there's tons of N64 emulators out there, but the one that I like to use is Project 64. So we're going to go ahead and just type in Project 64. All right, we're just going to go ahead and go to Downloads here. All right, so do 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 do. What are we looking for? All right, let's click downloads again. Hmm. Team releases, source code, updates, none of which I'm really looking for. Oh, well, <laughs> well, that's all we had to do. Okay, so we just need to go home, get Project 64. There we go. That's where I wanted to be. All right, so we'll go ahead, and I guess we'll just click the most recent one because it probably doesn't matter, and then just again follow the setup process to download this. All right. Wow, seven minutes already, and we've only just downloaded the programs. My goodness, we got to speed this up here. All right, so we've downloaded everything now. Uh, hopefully, you've just arranged everything in folders, however you like it to be. And uh, let's go ahead and finally get started uh, with actually getting into Banjo's backpack, all right? So, let's go ahead and open up this. So, what I've done here... <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, there's one thing that uh, you might not see as well as I guess some of these other folders here. But what I've done is I've arranged a new folder called BB for Banjo's Backpack. I put my Banjo's Backpack program in here, uh, a texture pack that I downloaded. We'll get into textures in just a bit here. Um, a maps folder, which basically just keeps track of my maps uh, that I create, and it also dumps some of the map textures in there as well. Uh, and then a ROMs folder where I put my Banjo Kazooie ROM in there. Okay, you don't have to organize it exactly like I do, but I just like it for the sake of organization. Now let's go ahead and start opening up Banjo's backpack here. Okay, so you want to open up the Banjo's backpack exe file. All right, we'll wait for it to load. Come on, you can do it. There we go. All right. So this is Banjo's backpack. I might be saying, Rex, what is going on here? What are you doing? What? This is just a blank file screen thingamajig. What's going on? And yes, yes it is for the time being until we load up our ROM. So what we're going to do is we're going to go File, we're going to go Open ROM. Okay, and the first time you do this, this is what you're going to have to do. Uh, every time after this, at least, you know, as long as you have the ROM, uh, you should just be able to open the ROM from file, but you're going to want to go to your ROMs, or I guess you don't really have a ROM folder yet, uh, but wherever you have the Banjo Kazooie uh, ROM that you downloaded, and you want to go and choose this one, okay? And it says, BB will alter this ROM so that it can make changes that would otherwise not be possible. Would you like BB to create a copy of your ROM so you have a clean ROM to patch? What does this mean? It means that when you start changing around Banjo or the Banjo Kazooie ROM and you start making adjustments and, and doing stuff to it to edit it from its original state, um, it's going to alter it forever. 
basically, right? So there's no way to necessarily revert back to its original state to that it once was. So it's asking you if you want to basically create a copy of this file so that you have a clean file to work with, and so if you make a mistake or you want to just restart from scratch or just keep your original file, then that will do so. So I highly recommend hitting yes. I'm just going to go and exit out of this, or I guess no, whatever. Um, because I've already done so, as you can see back here, no, that's the wrong place, where do I want to go? Um, let's see, let's go back here, let's go ROMs, there we go. Alright, as you can see, I have the, uh, the clean one right there, and then that's my edited one, alright? So once you've opened that up, uh, you want to go ahead, and it should still be a blue like this thing, um, blue like this thing? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, you want to go open setup file from ROM. Alright, and it should load up this menu. You'll see all these different things from your ROM. These are all various levels and areas and whatnot to choose from. And what you do is you simply double click on it or hit OK. So I'm going to choose Mumbles Mountain. Now I think if I'm correct here. Do, do, do once it loads. Oh, there we go. Alright, also the, the controls for this are uh, left mouse to move your camera and WASD to move. Alright, yeah, okay, this is what I thought. So, this is actually, <laughs> you might be saying, if you played any of the Banjo-Kazooie games, that, Rex, this is not Mumbo's Mountain, and this is not a level I've ever seen before. What is going on here? This is actually a level that I created. I modeled it, and as you can see, I, I brought in some resources. Um, so, yeah, this is a level I created. And essentially what you're doing in this program is saving over other levels with your own. So let me actually go ahead, let's start from scratch here, this is a little bit too much to start off with. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with something like, do do do, let's find something sort of small here. Let's go to Mad Monster Mansion. Okay, we'll hit OK. Here we go, and whoa, here we are in Mad Monster Mansion. So much to see, there is a lot going on here, and I'm not necessarily going to go over all of this in this tutorial, you know, what everything is and whatnot, but um, it is really cool to see, and uh, you can of course explore it on your own and ask on the forums, because the forums are there for a reason, there's an excellent community there, if you would like to know more, but for the time being, what I'm going to go ahead and do is, we're going to start off with the basic basics. Alright, we're not necessarily going to go into modeling and whatnot. In fact, I might even make that a separate tutorial. We'll see how far we get in this one. Uh, I only really want to make this 20 minutes, so we have like 8 minutes left to go. But uh, let's go ahead and, uh, as I said, start off with the very basic basics, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and make a few edits to this level by simply going to Create Mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to right-click anywhere in the map, and you'll see here we have two submenus. We have a global and Mad Monster Mansion. Now global is uh, it contains all your actions, some characters, collectibles, enemies, floors, all this stuff that is uh, you know is usually pretty common in every other Banjo Kazooie map. And then we also have the Mad Monster Mansion stuff, which is or which is just for uh, this map, right? So it only contains objects, enemies, or characters that are on this map already. So to go ahead and add one of these, I'm going to just go ahead and go to, uh, I guess I'll just keep Mad Monster Mansion. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to Enemy, for instance. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, we'll add a skeleton. Alright, and there we go. We've added a skeleton to the room. Now we'll go back to Select Mode. We will right-click on him. And we have these options. Move, Rotate, Scale, Duplicate, all this other stuff here. So I'm going to go to Rotate. I'm going to rotate him a little bit. I'm going to go to Scale. Now watch this. This is going to be really fun. I love this so much. Whoa, there we go. We have now made a giant skeleton and a nice looking little, uh, I guess, little hack in our game here. Isn't that exciting? Very exciting stuff. And uh, if we were to play this right now, uh, basically nothing besides the size would change. Just health, everything, whatever, would stay the same. And currently, I believe... Uh, or I don't believe there's any way to actually change those sort of properties of your objects, but you can do stuff like move them and rotate them and stuff like that, which is still pretty cool, admittedly. So now let's go ahead and uh, to delete them, obviously you just click delete. Uh, let's go ahead and do some other stuff here. Let's see what else we can do. So let's go to global, and uh, mm, let's see, I guess we'll add, I only want to add a lava floor, but uh, let's see, what do we have in here? Objects, do-do-do, doors and gates... Uh, let's go ahead and add a 
basement door, I guess. <laughs> see what this is. What does this look like? Let's see, did we do it? I didn't see it. Let me go. Let's go over here. All right, we'll go objects. We'll go to doors and gates. Go basement door. I'm not seeing it. Is it too small or something? <laughs> I don't know. That's very odd. Okay, well, whatever. Let's go ahead. Let's go back to global then and uh, add something we do know about. Uh, let's just go ahead. Uh, let's add some collectibles. Let's do that. Let's go to. Do, 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 do. What am I looking for? Sorry, I've never really edited on this map before. Oh, of course, I'm not in collectibles. <laughs> Here we go. Ugh, what am I doing today? Uh, let's go and add some notes. Okay, so what we can do here is if we go back to our select mode, we'll select a note, and we'll go duplicate. So now what we can do is because we're in duplicate mode, we can simply just click as many times as we like, and it will start duplicating stuff. So we have all these notes now there for us to collect. So uh, let's go on just one more thing before we uh, exit out of here and actually test this map. So we'll go to uh, do, do, do enemy and we'll go to skeleton. Let's we'll add another skeleton there. And we'll make him big because, you know, that's awesome. <laughs> Alright. So we'll scale him up a little bit. We'll go ahead and rotate him. We're gonna move him over there a little bit. And now once we're happy with this map, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to file and we go to uh, save to ROM. Okay. Okay. Changes saved successfully. Very nice. Now, before I go ahead and play this, let me go or let me tell you what would happen if I were to play this right now. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go to tools. And, is it tool? Yeah. Tools level assignment. Back to here. And this is how our levels are laid out. All right. Now, if we were to play this right now. Uh, in our emulator, Banjo's, or not Banjo's backpack, excuse me, uh, the game, Banjo-Kazooie, would assume that we just wanted to start out with Spiral Mountain, because that's, I mean, first in the list. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do, actually, is, or actually, hang on. Yeah. Yeah, let me go back there really quick, actually. Level assignment... <laughs> Um, let's see. I don't... I always just start off with the first one, usually. So, how... I forgot. <laughs> this is embarrassing. How do we change the assignment of which one starts first? Oh. Well, of course. It's right in the options menu. <laughs> I, of course it is. Ugh. Alright. So, anyway. Here we go. Uh, what we need to do is go to options and set start level. Alright. And we're going to go to, we're going to choose from this list which level we need to start with. So because we are in uh, Mad Monster Mansion, we're going to go ahead and search for Mad Monster Mansion. Click Update ROM, and has been updated. There we go. And now when we start the game, uh, by default, this level will be the first one to start. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're not even going to talk about that. Alright, so... Uh, <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, we can exit out of the back, or well, yeah, let's just go ahead and exit out of Banjo's backpack for now. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that. There was a minor interruption there. But anyways, next thing we're going to want to do is go to Project 64, and we're going to go ahead and open that there. And this is what you'll get, yet another blank screen. And what we want to do is go to File, Open ROM. And we want to go to a ROM that is not the clean version, but the one that's just blank that says Banjo Kazooie.z64. Because that's going to be our edited one. So we're going to go ahead and click on that and click open. Open. <laughs> Alright, and here we go. And we're simply just going to go ahead and go in the very first file. I guess it doesn't really matter, but for now I'm just going to go in the first file. And let me see what my controls are here. Uh, do, do, do. I don't have my uh, my controller plugged in, so let me go ahead and check this. Oh, and nothing is really assigned. That is perfect. All right, so we'll go up, we'll go down, left, right, and uh, let's see. Oh, that was the digital pad. Never mind. So we'll go up, down, left, right. Let me assign these here. Sorry about this, guys. All right, go that. Uh, oops. We will go X and A, and uh, let's see, do, 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 do. yeah, that should be good. Okay, there we go. 
and we should, let's see, oh, that's kind of an odd starting place. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I should probably reassign my keys really quick. <laughs> Alright. Um, what am I looking for? Okay. We'll go up is that. We'll go down is that. Ta da. Ta ta. Alright, and then we will go A and B. Or, oops. And B. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Alright. Alright, I know. It's such a weird uh, starting place. <laughs> I can get my mess out of the way there. Alright, and I just realized I didn't assign the C buttons either, but I'm hoping the camera will change? Maybe not? There we go. Alright, so here we go. Here we see all of our objects. We see our giant skeleton. And we, of course, see all these notes that we can collect. And that is pretty much... Oh, of course, I didn't unlock any of the moves either, so we don't have any moves right now, but that's pretty much it. That is basically the basics on how to mod and use Banjo's Backpack in your Banjo Kazooie games. Now, I probably will make a separate video on how to do the modeling and whatnot, because that really is a, a sort of a whole other thing. But for now, at least you guys know the very basics, and if you do want to learn more, uh, just ahead of me <laughs> until the video comes out, you can always go to the Banjo's Backpack, or Backus Banjo, or Rareware Central Forums to figure out that information. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, hopefully you guys learned about Banjo's Backpack, start using it, become part of the community, and we'll see a ton more awesome Banjo's Backpack levels. And uh, until next time, until next video, this has been Rick's Furry, and as always, I'll see you all then.